everybody, my name is Zarko and welcome to the Crooked Men Part 5. Now we just finished off scene 1 and now we're starting scene 2. And now this is what? This is what? This is a Julius Stone Law School set for demolition. No entry. Well, hey David, hey, there's a school from the leaflet. Then maybe he's here after all. Now I've looked into the game and let me tell you guys, uh, it is a long game. And this is gonna be a big, big map. Um, I there is four scenes, and apparently this is a this map is really, really big. A memo. Uh, deep fissure in the wall behind uh the eastern bookshelf in the basement storehouse. Repair is needed. All right, cool. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. A bunch of chairs. Ah, there's a book. A list of faculty. Uh, criminal, criminal law, uh, civil law, international law, criminology. All right, Phys physiology of a law. Is there anything that stands out? No, it's just a list of courses. All right, just keep going. It's locked. All right. Um, what is that? That is the janitor room. All right, janitor room, infirmary. All right, infirmary and janitor room. I gotta remember. Girls, boys, extinguisher. I can't take it. Damn it. Uh, exam results are posted. Uh, right. There's a lot. Faculty room. Oh, there's something here. Uh, Nameplates read uh, Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Oh, the infirmary key. Awesome. That's good. Uh, room manager for the month. Don't lose the key. Uh, parlor. Stacy Lizzie. Reference room. I'm guessing I probably should read the names. I am guess I need something to, uh, can I, do I have any, a knife? No. What happened to my knife that I had? I thought I had a knife. Why would he not, why would he not keep a knife? I mean, for real though. Alright, so I got a key to the infirmary, so, oh my, there's more? Oh, uh, the way to the lecture hall is locked. Alright, that's good to know. Now we're gonna try to do as much as we can. Ah, uh -uh, the infirmary. Hmm. Aha. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Hmm. Eee. That's cool. I like that. I like how you can walk in bed like that. Great Romilly, not a lot of games allow you to walk in the bed, like, put into a sleeping position. It's kind of nice. Uh, this is, must be the basement that they must have been talking about. The door is stubborn. The door won't open. Uh, uh, wait, what? Uh, basement bookshelf. It's locked from both sides. How weird. It's locked. Looks like a safe storeroom. It's locked. Alright, I'm guessing I'm gonna... What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Just keep going. A second. Oh. I got goosebumps. Wait, was there someone there? I really couldn't see in the dark. Well, maybe if you open your eyes, you'll get a flashlight, you moron. Whatever. Mm. Let's see, let's check everything, menu machine. Uh, let's go over here. A reference room, it's locked. Maybe it's, the map is not that big after all. Um, computer room, I gotta remember all these. Fire hydrant. Uh, parlor, there we go. Haha. -ha. Unlocked. Now, uh, let's see. What is there here? What is those? Autobiography. Trash can is empty. Uh, what's this? I guess it's a vine heart or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm, apparently it's made by Ray Twain. Uh, one of the lecturers. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to read it upside down? No. LOL. No, I don't know. Clock has stopped. Of course the clock stopped. Every freaking piece of clock stopped. Well, there was nothing here. GG. That one was locked. Let's go this way then. Uh, lefty loose. A box of tools. 
Uh, the whole box would be too heavy to take. I could probably take a tool or two from it. Hmm. Which one should I take? Let me let me think of it. What would I possibly need from it? Uh, um. Uh, I I don't know. What what should I take, people? What should I take? Um, am I able to um? Hmm. I don't think I would need a crowbar, so maybe it's... Can I switch them? Wait, a box of tools. Oh. Alright, so I can switch, alright. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. It's not too bad. Alright, no overflowing, nothing, 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 nothing. Um... It's not too bad. I guess I can uh, easily um, switch them. There we go. Uh, hmm. Let's see. An open security box. Wall. Well, can I take what's in the friggin' security box? Or is there nothing? You're not telling me much here, bud. I'd love to, for you to be a little bit specific here. Hmm. I'm gonna go right this time. Ray Twain. Ray Twain. A security box that requires a passcode. I do not know a pass. Oh, oh, um. Ray Twain. That uh, was um something, something, something. Um. I don't know. I really don't know. I I really don't know. Hmm. Hmm. No power. Let me see. Looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, a lot to need of the numeric uh, representation after all. Basic things such as on or off, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest element to <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though so perhaps it's more the artistic notion. Motion? Notion? Maybe notion. Maybe I don't think it's a typo. Maybe it is, I don't know. That captives that cat captivates me more than the mathematics. Alright, well. Oh the book. Why does he this law school have math books. I'm terrible at math. Binary number is made up binary digits, aka bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. They're just numbers to me. Just keep going. Mm. Another passcode? Hmm. Aha! It looks like some sort of diary. I love the note with my security box password. Thus, uh, I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was re writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somewhere. I should go take a look. If I use my ID as a password, like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but it's that's risky. Uh, but if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. It's kind of. It's kind of oh. I gotta go the other way, maybe. What's this over here? Is that a sink? Water won't come out. Well, maybe fix it. Hmm. Cindy. 
Oh, Cindy, oh, my dear Cindy, oh, my dear Cindy, what are you doing? Sort of diary. Mitchell's Dice Search made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be prodigy. I also realize he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Hmm. Andrew Rowe. Lock with a six digit pin. Hmm. John Keefe. Ha. Documents are thrown under the desk. There's a key to the room, is among them. Uh, got the key to John Keith's room. Cool. What am I supposed to do with that? Ah. Aha. Uh, Pascal. Damn it. Some sort of no book. Time are changing. Our existing law are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our lot to find the true answer. Well then, seems like you're... Uh, I need a philosophy class for that. Hmm. Where was Junkie's room? So I went all the way here. Um, now... Alright, um, I believe somebody's at the door, guys. Um, I'm gonna pause the recording right here, and I'll be right back in a minute. And I'm back, people! Sorry about that. Um, turns out it was nothing. Alright, this is the reference room here. It's locked. I need to find Ray Twain's password. Wait, the parlor. Wait, what is that? It says by Ray Twain. Alright. Binary. 1-0... One o. One o one 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 one. One o one o one 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 one. All right. Well, what? What? Where was this passcode? I, I gotta remember where his room was. I believe it has to do something with the binary. Is this here? Loads of books. No, not here. Next one. Ray Twain. Ah, it is not. Ray Twain, was he on the third floor? Maybe he was. was or is that the fourth floor? Friends more. Ray Twain. Oh, wait. I know it's wrong. There we go. 1 0 oh, 2. One oh one five two five one 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 uh fifteen two five one five <gasps> yes 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 two five one five What is that? Reference crew. Uh, yes, that's for uh, what's his face? Ah, uh, was he here? That he said lift something in the reference room. Reference room. Yeah. He left his passcode into the reference room. Friends more. Reference room. Reference room is down one floor. What are you doing in this school? You shady punk! Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm, you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. 
What do you want? A permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm the... I'm graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. D, that's your name. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, Dummy. I think I tell some shady guy my real name. <laughs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. Uh, I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. Well, asshole. What the hell is this problem? Didn't even apologize. You pissed me off. Well, whatever. Record book checks in and out. Alright. What about this? Announcement in general. Uh, George Wife. Uh, 16. Eh. Senior Day Declaration of Independence. Someone I called the father of the American law. I'm switching the class. Cool. Hmm. Uh, the shelves in the basement are the staff only. Uh, those who require books from the basement must sign a form of accomplished by staff to keep material. All right, cool. Uh, another letter of carrying books for the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. So I need to go to the other side first. But there is a book here, so let me read it. Uh, they say that people, despite um, that people despite who those who think similar to them or who are in similar circumstances uh, but humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance or goodwill or hatred uh, though they are two-faced they are two-faced deep down uh, they can make that idea seem unthinkable you may despite someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. Uh, the improbable is not impossible. Uh, David, I never understood the philosophy stuff. Uh, uh, wouldn't you dislike people who you don't like? Huh, why? Well, I'm going to cut the recording here, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, if you did, please make sure to like this video. Uh, comment down below and let me know what you think, what game you want me to play next. And also, guys, if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. All the support is greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, the game, uh, the link for this game will be in the description get down below if you want to get, try it for yourself. It's an amazing game. I highly recommend it. Hours and hours and hours of fun. And on that note, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!